Hey everyone, and welcome back to Lisa's channel. My name is Mickey. Today I'm gonna to give you five strategies that you can implement right now to steal customers right from under your competitors' noses. Anyways, let's get right into it. Point number one, you have to be willing to do what the competition won't do. Every single one of the big deals that I've taken away from the competitor is because I was willing to get in, get my hands dirty, put my nose to the grindstone and do whatever it takes to get that customer converted over from the competitor over to me. Now, most of the time this entails losing a little bit of money at the beginning of a relationship so that you can make a lot of money at the tail end. You have to think of these relationships long term because if you think of them short term and you're trying to extract as much value as possible from your customers, you end up pissing the customer off and they end up leaving you for the competition. So please go the extra mile, especially at the beginning, do whatever it takes. Even if you have to get your hands dirty, even if you have to lose a little bit of money, this is a strategy that I use every single day to capture competitor customers away from them. Point number two, how good is your service? Service is perhaps the most important thing when it comes to any relationship. What do I mean by service? Service means your ability to answer the phone when the customer needs you. Your ability to solve a problem when the customer is about to experience a huge loss in revenue. Your ability to be there at 3 and 4 and 5 a.m. when your customer really needs you. That is what good service entails. And to take it one step further, if you really want to give the best service in the world, it's your ability to recognize what the customer needs and offer it to them as it becomes available for your business. Now, if you give this good service, you'll be able to build 10 and 20 year long relationships or your profit all the way through. And the problem with the competitors are, most competitors, they're on to the next customer as soon as they're done with the last one. And because they're like this, they end up giving bad service or very average or mediocre service to their existing customers. If you focus on good service, follow up, basically calling every single one of your customers asking, how are you doing? What can I do to improve your experience? If you do this over and over and over, you'll build rapport and you'll build these long-term relationships that in the end yield a tremendous amount of revenue. Point number three, like every relationship, consistency. I can't tell you how many couples I've seen where the relationship starts awesome. They're in love. It's the honeymoon phase. They can't stand to be apart from one another. And that's what happens in most businesses. At the beginning, everybody loves each other. Now what happens as time goes along, that relationship deteriorates because you get tired of doing the same thing. Maybe the money's not the same. Maybe the behavior or the management's not the same. Something changed and now the relationship isn't as good. Your ability to be consistent will take your competitors, customers away from them because I promise you, after a year or two, your competition has moved on from their customers. Your competition is focused on the next big fish, the next big prize. So if you're consistent and you can deliver the same service, the same commitment from beginning to end, you'll be able to steal customers right out from underneath the noses of your competition. Point number four, having a good price to value ratio. Notice how I didn't say price. It's a misconception that if you lower your price 50%, every single customer is gonna go with you. As a matter of fact, most, most people with money, they don't care about the price. They care about having good service. They care about you being there for them. They care about having a long-term relationship. So if you're able to pitch a product or pitch a service to your competitor's customers that's the same price but provides double the value, that's where you really extract the most amount of people from their competitors. So let me give you an example. A strategy that I use all the time is when I'm pitching a competitor's customer, I'll sit down with them and ask them what their existing system does. Then I'll give them three additional modules that the competition isn't given to them and I charge them the same price. Look at that little nuance. I just, I, I investigated what they were up to and then I was like, you know what? In my head, I'm gonna give them this, li this little thing for free, charge them the same amount of money and capture the customer. Remember, when you capture the customer, you're then able to come back later on and sell them additional products, additional services, and you're able to increase the long-term average revenue of your company. So please make sure that you maintain the proper price to value ratio. Number five, you always have to put yourself in the customer's shoes. I can't tell you how many times a customer calls in here and our team will blame the customer. And I go, hold on a second, put yourself in their shoes for a moment. How would you feel if this were happening to you? My people sometimes don't realize that the customer's calling and they're not tech people, perhaps they're not that experienced on the software, maybe they're new to the companies that they're at and they, and they cause chaos for us. But if we put ourselves in their shoes, we realize that they're uncomfortable. We realize that they're not having the easiest experience. And as a result, we're able to relate to the customer. 
If you're able to put yourself in their shoes and feel their pain and understand what they're going through with your competitors, you'll be able to take them away. So a strategy that I commonly use on phone calls is basically, I'll, I'll ask the customer, hey, how's your experience been with the competition? Are you having any issues? Are you having any problems in there? Is there anything you wish that you could improve? Is there any features that you wish the competition had? I ask all these questions and by the end of it, the customer is giving me five or 10 bullet points that I can focus on. And these five or 10 bullet points are what I magnify. And I correlate those five or 10 bullet points to a dollar amount and then that dollar amount to the cost of my system. And that normally justifies the customer switching over from their competitor to me. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the five tips that you can use right now to steal customers away from your competition. If you have any concerns or comments, hit me down below. I'll make sure to get back to you. Apart from that, like this video, subscribe to the channel, help us out. We're trying to pump out content every week to help you in your business. Also, we're offering a free trial on our DSD software warehouse management, all the modules. All you have to do is fill out the form below if you're interested. Thank you so much for tuning in and I really look forward to seeing you next video. Take care.